Hey everyone, in this episode we're going to be doing uh, file minification and image caching. So first of all, go into your tools, extensions and updates, uh, go to online and look for uh, Web Essentials 2017. Once you install that, uh, go into your blog and create a new file and call it bundleconfig.json. Right, you will see this if you see this icon here. The Web Essentials have uh, installed correctly, and you have named the file correctly. So, uh, this is basically part of the Web Essential tools. It has many packages in there, but basically, what it does is allows you to minify your CSS and JavaScript files. So, let's specify the input file. Uh, here you want to like start with uh, square brackets and then curly brackets and then you should have IntelliSense. So input files www root css site dot css. Oh, shouldn't have saved it. Let's copy this path. Let's do output file name site css dot min. All right, so save it. And if we go into www.css, we get a minified file, which has all of our code, all of our CSS minified. Cool. So this is for CSS. And let's say you want to do the same for JavaScript. Uh, let's say, I don't know, this would be like JavaScript, JavaScript, JavaScript. JavaScript, right? Uh, the main uh, difference you will have to do is basically say specify minify, and you will have to enable it. True, and you will have to also replace locals to true. So this basically like uh, this is basically the minify. This is what uh, reduces size. And this does it as well, but it basically, basically, if you do something like var options equals whatever, then it will do it. It will basically equate it to var o equals, right? So it'll, it'll replace your var variables to shorter names, making the, the file smaller. All right, we don't have this file, so it's not really going to do anything. It's not going to find it. Okay, so that's it for minification. We we might want to actually go ahead and implement it here. So bitmin.css, and let's do environment. All right, um, include. Production. So if it's production, we want to include the what's it called the minified. Okay, so that's that. Let's go into now. We want to uh, cache our images. So let's go into our startup and where we uh, add MVC. This is where we want to specify the options for uh what's called for cache profiles right and here we want to add and give it a name of monthly and a new cache profile and then here we just want to specify the duration which we want to sick which is in seconds right yeah in seconds so 60 seconds by 60, that's uh, an hour, 24, that's a day, 7, that's a week, or that's 28 days. Okay, so you can copy this and name it daily, weekly, you know, yearly. I'll keep it at a monthly. So for, now run your uh, application and I'll show you uh, what this basically does. Uh, basically, if you refresh and you keep refreshing it, um, in your network tab, you should see that 
uh, static images are cached, but these images that we load from uh, our controller aren't cached. So the way to cache them is you go into your controller and you add a response cache. And here you just have to specify cache profile name monthly. All right, so if we refresh now, all right, so it can take like, you can see here, 200 milliseconds. So if you have uh, 10 times more images, so 20 images, it can take like a second to load your website. And if you're visiting, it will load it from memory and yep, it'll basically save you a lot of time for returning users. Yeah, so that's that. And let's see if our, what's it called? Yeah, so site CSS is loaded here. So let's see if we want to swap it. We want to put this one here as well. That's for control F5. I'll look into the header again. And here we go. All right. So yeah, this will be only in production. This will be only in development. And this is how you specify uh, caching for controller results. Remember guys, the best way to, th I think, in my opinion, the best way to think about these is same as a function. This is just a variable, right? So it's image A, it's image B, it's image three, you know, it's you just sort of the route is basically a point, point is pointing to an address in memory on the file disk, same way the RAM works. And, you know, if you're accessing it a lot, you cache it. If uh, not, if it's if it changes a lot, um, don't cache it. So yeah, uh, this will be it for this episode, guys. If you haven't uh, watched the published um, the previous two episodes were published, please do. Uh, please publish as I'm using an affiliate link, and that's gonna help me out a lot in funding for these uh, tutorials. Other than that, if that you, if you did, thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed the series, subscribe uh, for more. I'm going to be doing a lot more episodes like this where we build a system which we can actually use, uh, as well as doing the odd uh, how-to tutorials. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, see you in the next episode.